Hello and welcome to Airhead. Today I have this home defense blaster HDB68 which is I think just been released not that long ago. I know they sold out first round and I managed to pick this up second round. This is part of the T4E range which is the tactical training or training for engagement range from Umarex. So I haven't opened this up I just literally, this is my first impressions. This is the box as it comes. It feels much lighter than I was hoping for, if I'm honest with you. That's that side. Um, there's that side there, probably too close for the camera. Um, this side here. And on there, you'll be able to see it says, this is the uh, lower than 16 joule version. So there is a 7.5 and then there is a 16 um, dual version which is the maximum we can have in the UK. I have the HDX already which is fantastic. I just use it for clinking to be honest but it's it's absolutely brilliant to use. Same for this is what I really wanted it for. It looks really cool in the photos and stuff and the reviews I've seen online. I haven't really seen anything in depth, not that this is going to be in depth but I mean in terms of how it compares to the to the uh, HDX. So I'm just going to open this up and see what you get in the box. Wow, that's really bare bones. I can actually remember the, uh, the unboxing my HDX. I didn't do it on camera because I'd given this channel a bit of a rest for a bit. But there's the Umarex warning manual that you always get. HDR manual's got something sellotaped to it. That's the key for the uh, gas, the quick I think it's called the quick piercing unit. I don't know what it's called. Oh, it'll, put, it'll be on here probably. I think it's a valve of some sort. It's a quick pierce valve maybe. But anyway, that's the uh, booklet. Obviously how to use it. I think that's probably it. And then we have the gun. Bit of, oh, a bit of cardboard there, sorry. So first off by feeling it, that's disappointing. That's all plastic. I don't know why I was expecting it to be metal because the HDX is. I'll get that and show you. So here on the HDX, all of this here, including the muzzle brake, all back here, and there, no, that's plastic, is all metal, and that gives it a lovely, heavy, tactile feel. Like, genuinely lovely to have in your hands. I'm disappointed that this is probably not gonna be anything like that. Just by feeling it, I think it's gonna be light, um, is that okay? Yeah, it really feels like when I lift that up. Yeah, it feels light. So that's all you get in the uh, package. Right, okay, so wow, this is, this is really plasticky. I mean, yeah, it's just, it's not cheap plastic but it does make it feel like a toy. And I just feel like, it feels like it's gonna move, but it doesn't. It's almost like at some point, this was gonna be working. So they molded that and then decided it's easier to, is that the magazine? So how do you, oh, you pull that up there like that. Oh, come on. And you put the balls in there, that's the 0.68s. So these ones are the ones I normally use. I'm assuming and they just go in there like that and they drop in. Yeah. Just checking that's fully. That's a nice, I tell you what, that's actually a lot nicer to load. It's a nicer loading mechanism than on the um, HDX. Because on the HDX, you've got a racket to open that port up and then push the balls down there. But I did figure out that you can open the chamber at the end here and put the balls in. And then if you rack it, you can have one in the chamber as well. You just gotta remember that's in there. So yeah, you can just undo that and then that goes in quite nicely. That's something I figured out by myself. I haven't seen someone say that on the internet. Doesn't mean it's not up there. Um, when I bought this, uh, it was before there were any UK videos on it at least. So 
yeah. This one it is disappointing. It would have been lovely to have this. Is that even metal? The barrel's metal. The muzzle's metal. Just would have been nice to have some weight in it. And that's where the gas goes. The bulb obviously goes facing down, so the thin end here. And then when you want to gas it, put the bulb in, hit the bottom, and then that pin at the end will come out and it'll have a red dot on it. Does this have a safety? Yeah, it does. Okay, there. Uh, red normally means fire, clear means safe. Um, this is disappointing. Even if they'd made this lower receiver end or whatever you call it, uh, metal, just so it had a bit of heft to it, would have been lovely. I mean, it makes no difference for someone like me who's literally going to be firing at a bit of, well, I'd normally put paintballs on these. I don't, I don't actually use these ever. I bought them and then realised they're just so expensive that I just whack paintballs into them. It's like they're a HD R50. I've just bought a box of paintballs to use. Here they are. These are obviously the 50 cows and they're tiny compared to, they look so small compared to normal paintballs. But they're so much cheaper if you just want to plink about with them like I do. So I'd literally just put a board up and shoot that. I'm gonna test this out on ballistics gel. Obviously, I don't think there's gonna be much difference between that one and this one in terms of power, because they're both pretty much the max they can be. Just wanna see if it's actually anywhere near as much as they claim. Although that sight picture, you're not gonna be able to see that properly. That to there is really nice. I was gonna put a red dot on the top here. I don't think I will now. Just rub that. Although it does make it look quite cool. So there we go. That's my unboxing and first impressions. I'm looking forward to taking this out and shooting it. But at the same time, it's just, I mean, yes, it's nearly half the price of the HDX, but I would have paid similar, if not the same amount, if this was made in metal. But that's just me. That is quite literally just my sort of, not, I wouldn't say bugbear, because it's still quite nice to actually have in your hand. It feels nice to hold, and it looks cool. It's just a shame it's not as sort of fun to hold. But yeah. So anyway, thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. So if you like watching someone test out these ballistics gels, random targets, I've got a phone to shoot soon as well, using air rifles, air pistols, and crossbows. This is your place to be. So take care guys, until the next time you've been watching Airheads.